Hey everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks for tuning in to this one month beginner yoga challenge where you get more than 30 days of practice. Today continues your journey into strength with the side plank. You got a preview of this on day two when we did plank, but now we're gonna take it to a whole new level. I hope you're ready. Bring your hands together and inhale. Claim the sacred space of the practice with the sound OM. As you begin your journey into strength, you may notice that the wrists sometimes get a little strained. You never want to push yourself too far too soon. So today we're going to start off with some really good therapeutic techniques for the wrist as well as some wrist strengtheners so that as we build up the side plank, your wrist should be feeling good and strong. Let's get started on the hands and knees plank. Now, as you're on the hands and knees plank, be real conscious about what places in the hand you're rooting down. First, press into the heels of the hands. As you press into the heels of the hands, feel them nice and firm. Then root down into the knuckles, then grip with your fingertips. Feel these three points within the hand to really find and orient weight distribution. Then, don't spread your fingertips too wide apart or bring the fingertips too close together. Maintain a neutral weight distribution. Just like in your foot, Ideally, you would want your weight to press down into the knuckles using the heel and the fingertips to prevent yourself from going too far forward or falling too much back. Then, rooting these three points down in equal distribution, yet the center line rests in the knuckles, go ahead and grip with the fingertips, root down through the knuckles and press into the heels of the hands. And let's just hold that hands and knees plank for a couple breaths like this. One, nice and steady. Two, keep the belly drawn deeper and deeper in. Three four, and five. Sucking the belly in, come up onto the knuckles and press the knuckles down and this gives you a good connection of your shoulders into the knuckles. Really make that fist and then lift the knees off. Exhale, settle down. Inhale, knees off. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift the knees. Exhale, down. One more. Inhale, lift the knees. Exhale, down. Then again, back to the hands and knees plank. Just a couple breaths. Just a couple breaths. Okay, child's pose. Drop into the hips. Keep the belly inside. Maintain a sense of emptiness behind the pubic bone. And inhale, come on all the way back up to continue preparing the wrists and work on those therapeutic techniques that can really strengthen and stabilize your wrist joints. Now, from here, slowly, inhale, lift the fingers. Exhale, settle them down. Inhale, press into the heel of the hand and lift the fingers. Exhale, down. Two more. Inhale, root and lift the fingers. Exhale, down. Inhale, root and lift the fingers. Exhale, down. Now, if you want a little challenge, just lift the fingers without sliding back. Inhale, lift the fingers. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift the fingers. Exhale, down. So this you should really feel almost like the muscles of your forearm connecting into your hand down through the fingertips so they get strong and connected. It should be a little challenging. If it's challenging, just root back and glide it off back and forth like that. Okay, now from here to continue strengthening with the wrist, come up onto the knuckles, from the knuckles onto the fingertips, from the fingertips down to the knuckles, knuckles to the heel of the hand, up to the knuckles, up to the fingertips, down to the knuckles, down to the heel, up to the knuckles, up to the fingers, down to the knuckles, down to the heel. Two more, up to the knuckles, up to the fingertips, down to the knuckles, down to the heel. One more, up to the knuckles, up to the fingertips, down to the knuckles, down to the heel. Then side to side. Move over to the right side, left side, just side to side. Working the wrist, gripping your fingertips. We're doing this on the hands and knees so you can really focus on alignment. You could of course do this all from plank, but that would be rather advanced. Just do a few more, side to side, side to side, then hold it in the center, front and back. Really take it easy and just feel your wrist getting stronger, stronger, more stable, a little bit more flexible maybe too. Okay, back to child's pose. Our wrists are getting warmed up. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more. Deep breath in and deep breath out. All right, let's come on up. Okay, we're not done yet with our journey into strengthening the wrist. Point your fingers towards each other, bend your elbows a little, and then slowly bring the arms to as straight as you can and we'll hold it in there for five breaths. One, two, three, Four, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. Two more, down, take it up, down, take it up, and then let's just move the hands in and just hold it. This one we just hold, hold, forward, hold, 
hold, and now flip the hands so that the heels of the hands press. If possible, bring the heels of the hands towards each other, root down through the heels of the hands, grip your fingertips, and then lean a little back. So we lean back. One, you should feel a very light stretch. Don't overdo it. Two, three, four, and now for the strengthening, root into the heels of the hands and try to lift the fingers. This is real hard, guys. So if you feel like your fingers are glued to the ground, no problem. Fingers up, fingers down. Fingers up, fingers down. Fingers up, fingers down. One more, fingers up, fingers down. Okay, back to the center. Come up onto the knuckles, knuckles. Inhale, knees up, exhale down. One more, inhale, knees up. This just flushes blood through the wrist and hands forward and child's pose. Rest for a moment, deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Come on back up for a moment and let's just shake it out. So just give it a little shake. Now, so many of you have left me comments. Thanks so much for commenting. Continue the dialogue that your wrists were not really up to the burden of all those planks. So we want to build it up nice and slow. Remember, you can just sink those knees to the ground at any moment as we continue with the side plank. Remember, put those knees down. Let this practice build strength over many years of your life. You don't need to do it all in this class. In fact, come back to this class repeatedly over many years of practice and use it as a barometer, a benchmark to test how much progress you've made. Let's see if we can get all the way up into a plank now. Now, hands shoulder width apart, knees reach towards each other, curl the toes under, and inhale, come on up to plank, hold for five. One, two, squeeze your butt a little, three, four, exhale, dip down, inhale, take it up, exhale down, inhale, take it up, exhale down, inhale, take it up. Exhale down, inhale, take it up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Okay, five breaths here. Just tune into the inner body for a moment. One. Remember in downward facing, you're always welcome to sink your knees to the ground, rest in child's pose or even the puppy pose. Two, three, four, and five. Switch the gaze forward and inhale. Come on forward to plank. Draw the belly inside. One, two. We're almost ready for the side plank, but let's just do one more regular plank. Three, four, and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Draw the belly deeper in and knees down. Let's rest in child's pose for a moment. Tune in to the inner body. Tune in to that inner state of emptiness. Collect that emptiness in the pelvis. Collect your inner strength. And we're ready to begin. And slowly, come on back up to your hands and knees. Now we're ready to prepare for the side plank. Our first side plank, we're going to take it real easy. Send that right knee in line with your right hand. Glide your right hand forward and stack your left foot out to the side so that you really find your orientation towards the side body. Layer your left hand right on to your waist so this is your modification if you don't feel comfortable in the full side plank lift the left arm up and we'll stay here for five breaths one two keep the belly drawn in three four back hand down look forward glide those hands forward come on back up to your hands and knees plank let's try it on the left side align the left knee with the left hand send that right foot out to the side picking yourself up try to use this just as a place keeper and then inhale bring your right hand to the waist you can gaze down at your left hand if you have good balance and you can switch your gaze up as you bring that right arm up or you're welcome to just keep looking down at the hand one two three four and exhale, bring your hand down. Exhale again, bring your hand back to the center. Glide yourself over to the hands and knees plank. Inhale, let's pick it up to plank. And from plank, exhale, let's go down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Settle in downward facing. Five breaths here just to tune into the inner body. One, draw the belly in. Two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna take it all the way up to the side plank. Here we go, look forward. Come on forward to the plank and we'll try to get on over to the side plank. Reach the right hand about a hand step forward, slide it over to the side. Use your left fingertips to find your orientation. Flex the feet, balance on the blade of the right foot and then inhale, press up with your right shoulder. Your gaze is down towards the right hand and then inhale, left arm up. If it's comfortable for you, you can look up to the left hand, but no stress. Two. Pull the belly inside, three, four, orient towards the center line. 
and five. Drop your hand down, switch the gaze back down. Hand slides forward. Bring the shoulders forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, come forward to upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Okay, let's try the left side. First, get a real good plank. So come forward, press up with the shoulders. Step that left hand forward, glide it over. Balance on the blade of your left foot, press up with latissimus dorsi on the left side, using your fingertips for balance. Once you get the balance, hand onto your hip, then inhale, lift your arm up, and you can look up at the right fingers or keep your gaze steady down at the left hand, your choice. Two, but keep a big press up with the left shoulder. Three, tighten the waist, big push up with the left shoulder, pull the belly inside, stack in the hips, align with the side body. Four, and five, exhale, send your right hand down. Bring that right hand forward, plank, hold it, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing, downward facing for a moment. Nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out. One more, nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out, just let it all go. Look forward and inhale, plank, from plank, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana on the ground. Now we're gonna try another version of plank. This is a lying down plank called Samanasana, or equal balancing pose. Now from here, bring your feet together, rest your chest down a little bit, and start to turn your head to the side. Place the right hand on the floor, right near your body, and then just glide yourself over. Use the right hand, so your hand's behind you. Using your hand as a balance point, stack yourself over onto the right side. Holding yourself up with your left hand, flex the feet, balance here, find the center line, stack yourself over to the side using your head and your body to balance, then lift the left arm up. Again, five breaths, one, Two, since we've got the floor support here, we're gonna take it a little deeper. Three, four. Now, if you have good balance from here, glide your left foot up into the tree pose. One, so we have a lying down tree. Two, side tree. Three, four, and slide it all the way back in. This pose looks simple, but I promise it's a really good core strengthener. Tests your alignment. Exhale, bring the hand down. Use your left hand for stability and glide it back into the center. Now we're gonna do the left side. So bring your feet together. Lift the left hand out to the side. Use it for balance. Glide that shoulder under, stacking your head on the side. Flex the feet, squeeze the butt a little. Get a good side plank. Turn your head to the side so your neck is in line. Don't tense the neck. Inhale, lift your arm up. Find the balance through the side body. Two, three, four. If it feels good, slide yourself up into the tree. And we have a side tree and we'll hold it here for a couple breaths. Feel the right hip moving externally. Activate the glutes just a little for stability. Four and five. Glide it down, maintaining the center. Don't be surprised if you're flopping around. Exhale, hand down. Gliding yourself back to the center. We're on the floor for our Chaturanga Dandasana. So from here, just maintain the shape of Chaturanga so we have that floor support. Kneecaps up, belly firm, belly inside. And then inhale, come forward to upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Pause, downward facing for a couple breaths. Two, three, four and five looking forward inhale come on back to plank walk your right hand forward back to side plank okay guys this is a little hard but it's so good for your lower abs see if you can do it with me exhale hips down inhale take it up exhale hips down inhale take it up exhale hips down inhale take it up just two more exhale down inhale take it up exhale down inhale take it up good job okay back to plank hold plank inhale upward facing exhale downward facing come on back to plank you can do it left side walk it forward this is hard but so good for your abs exhale dip down inhale take it up exhale down inhale take it up exhale down inhale take it up just two more exhale down use your internal obliques to take it up exhale down big push with the shoulder back to plank hold the plank inhale upward facing exhale downward facing come to your knees puppy pose for a moment to release the shoulders nice deep breath in nice deep breath out once more and walking it all the way back to downward facing big inhale Big exhale. 
One more time. Inhale, reclaim the equanimous mind with patience, tolerance, and forgiveness. Looking forward, shoulders forward, right foot, left foot, all the way through if you can. And exhale down, slowly lie all the way down. Draw the right knee into your chest. Easy reclining twist. One, two, calm and steady. Tune into the inner body. Three, four, and five. Back to the center. Let's switch the legs, pulling that left knee in. Glide it over. Looking to the left, one. Don't force the knee to the ground. Just be where your body wants to be for today. Two, keep the belly sucked in. Three, four, and back to the center. And pulling the knees into the chest for a moment, draw the belly in. Inhale, lift the legs, Viparita Karani. Tune into the inner body. One, two, three, Four, open the legs, bend the knees, grab hold of the outsides of the feet, and one. Be real gentle with yourself and just hang out here for a few moments, rocking side to side. And then hold underneath your knees, pull it in, bring the legs up again, bend your knees, and let's just lie all the way down. Allow yourself to keep a connection to a place of silence within, a place that remains calm regardless of any external chaos. And then allow a deep breath in, bending the knees and the elbows. Pull the knees to your chest. Roll over onto your side. Come on back up to a comfortable seated position and just tune in to the inner body for a moment. Recognize that the journey of strength is eternal. It starts with a decision to believe in yourself, to let the seeds of faith be planted in your heart and then to work tirelessly for them every day of your life. I want you to take the inspiration to be stronger, to believe in yourself and to make your world a more peaceful place, one breath at a time. Hands together, inhale. Thank you so much for letting me be your guide on the inner tradition of yoga. Tune in tomorrow to continue your practice on this month's beginner challenge. Namaste.